Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're taking a look at one of the strongest new Golem decks in the game right now. Absolute beast, blowing up in popularity, and that is this 4.4 Elixir Golem Cannon Card beatdown. The Cannon Card obviously got a pretty good buff in the recent update, so did the Baby Dragon as well. Now, there are a couple different versions of this deck going around. Some use the pump in there, some have a second spell like Poison or Log, and some have the Night Witch instead. So, really up to you as to which version you want to use, but I prefer having the pump in there for now at least. But there's the deck, guys. 4.4 Elixir. Go ahead here, jump into our first battle of the evening. Uh, see what we can do with this deck. So, good luck to our friend. Let me know, guys, in the comments down below, which version do you think would be better? Pump? Night Witch? Poison? Or Log in place of the Pump? The Pump is good. Very good, obviously, for a 4.4 deck. The only thing I don't like about Pump is how RNG starting hand dependent it is. Like, literally, you get it in your starting hand and you're good to go. You don't get it and you're dead. That's just how it works. Do work cannon cart, nice. I mean, that's all right. Nice. So we got a pump down there, we defended pretty nicely and we took a bit of damage, but we got the pump down, which is basically the most important thing. So Archer's Lumberjack, Ice Spirit, Dark Prince. Wonder what he could be using there. We're gonna get another, one more pump down before we kind of go crazy here. I was gonna go Golem, but I wanna get one pump down beforehand, like this. What do you got, buddy? Knight? Alright. Knight and Lumberjack, dude. Interesting. Burp Dragon, nice. There we go. So he... Whew, what? Maybe he's got a Golem deck of his own. What do y'all think? What do y'all think, dudes? His Lumberjack should die. Baby Dragon here. Get one more pump down here shortly. He's gonna go Knight. Yeah, he do. But we get everything raged up, which is alright, by my opinion. This. Nice. We can actually ignore that archer there and just get one more pump down here. So we got two pumps down, golem versus golem. Gonna be very interesting how this plays out here shortly. I'm assuming he has golem in there, though. It could be a surprise card. But I'm guessing it's a golem. It could... Maybe it's... Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's like a P.E.K.K.A. Maybe it's just... I don't even know what it is. This here. Nice. Cannon card here, tank. There we go. So we got a nice little push going on here, guys. Doing some work, doing some work. Arch is going down. Get another goal down here ASAP. Come on. Oh, he says, wow. He's impressed. Oh, the rocket doing some work. He misses the cannon card, though, guys. Cannon card locks onto his tower. Getting the damage done. Golem getting there as well. Nail us together here. Zap it all. Archer's dead. Golem gets to the tower. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. What was his win condition there, though? It couldn't have just been pump cycle. Something else was in there. I'm just not too sure what it was. Alright. So, as you see, guys, defending with this deck can be a bit hard. Singly, unless you're period, because it is pretty expensive, but... Uh, once you get a pump down, it is very hard to stop. Although that does mean it is a bit RNG dependent with that pump in there. I don't know if I already said that or not, but... Go ahead and good game to our friend. Jump into the next battle here. That's the one thing about the pump that I don't like, and that's kind of why I don't use... Uh, I didn't use the Golem deck for my end of season push. Is I like Golem. I, I enjoy using it, but I find sometimes... You just get, like, really unlucky, and it's really, like... You have to have pumps turning hand. Sometimes I'll have pump like my 8th card. And uh, if it's your 8th card with a 4.4 deck, uh, it's basically just GG's at that point. Argy's dead. Nice. We'll take a bit of damage to our tower there, but we do get a pump down and he doesn't spell it yet, so we should be good to go. We're going to get a golem going on back here for now. See what our friend does. Mr. Esport dude. He's going to love the pump. Alright, I'm okay with that. What you got for me, dude? Ice Wizard? I kind of want to go Baby D for some, like, splash damage support. With a Cannon Cart as well for some other support. Ooh, I need my Zap here, dudes. Actually, I'm just going to kind of go all in here. I don't care. Do work Cannon Cart. Got this. 
Kill the minions, please? Nice. Oh, that, that was a bad push, though. Didn't get nearly as much damage as I wanted to. Mega minion, get some shots done, please. Nice. Oh, with the ice was going down. All right. He's going to go RG in front of this Ice Wizard unless he's low on Elixirs. Otherwise, I'm going to go pump right here and get our Lumberjack ready for his RG. RG at the bridge or no? So now that I know he's got the uh, Inferno in there, the tower, I'll keep the Zap spell for his uh, Inferno. Golem right here. Nice. We're actually going to ignore the... Uh, the what you call it for now. The RG. Take it down with the cannon cart. Should use the cannon cart within range of the golem as well. That's okay though. RG back here. Mega back here. Lumberjack jack as well. Is that this? There we go. Can we need anything here? Do work. Need us together. Nice. There we go. Go get to the tower, please. Get to the golem. Boom. Nice. Oh, but we're taking damage, guys. We're taking damage here. I think we're going to be dead here, guys. I think we might be dead here. A bit too... That, that first uh, push is what killed us there. That first push into his... Uh, in his Inferno Tower. We couldn't recover from that. And then going uh, too aggressive, giving his RG too much damage. That's what got us. And then going Golem back here behind a King Tower. Way too slow, Shane. Way too slow. Got this. Nice. Do work, Inferno, please. Nah, good game. So a couple misplays there, guys. Definitely cost us the game. Um, well played, well played. We could have won that, but... Uh, I shouldn't have ignored the RG like the way I did. I thought we would kill him in that counter push there, which is why I went all in, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, and I, if I would have used the cannon card up here, it would have killed uh, the RG. Like, it would have helped kill the RG faster. Instead, I used it back here, and it just didn't do anything afterwards. So, my B, my B. Pump right here. We've been lucky so far getting three pumps in our starting hand so far. Uh, okay. No baby dragon here. That sucks. Is that this? Nice. Giant, please die. That tower is dead. But I want to protect the pump at all costs. There we go. Nice. So he did a pretty good job of punishing our pump there with the early giant drop on the bridge there. But what I want to do here is prevent the Valkyrie from damaging our pump and go one more pump back here. There we go. He's going to fireball that. I'm okay with that. Bats, please die. Nice. There we go. All right. So we're going to get a golem going on here behind our king tower. On the left hand lane, we got two, basically half a pump down if you add both of them together. A bit of math with Shane right there. We're going to get a Baby Dragon Cannon Cart Lumberjack going on behind this Golem here. Nice. Baby D here. Cannon Cart is well. Wait for it. Get us back. There we go. Get there, Golem, please. Yes, explode. Thank you, Golem. So Cannon Cart lock on. The tower should die here to that push. The Cannon Cart an absolute beast for the damage, dudes. Ooh. I was going to pump there, but let's chill with the pump. Let's chill with that pump, dudes. Alrighty. What do you got, dude? I'm going to waste some Elixir here. I don't care. Alright, pump now. There we go. King Tower is activated so we can ignore the minions. Lumberjack here. Is that this? Make a minion back here for his musketeer. All right, so that giant should die here. Is he farble at all? No, I'm okay with that. Get a golem back here for now, and get a lumberjack ready for his next uh, his next giant here. Let's just go cannon card this lane for the Valkyrie. Lumberjack here for his giant. Zap his goblin gang here. There we go. We got a full health golem in the right lane, guys. Gonna get some work done. Nato is back here. Oh, we get the bats with the Nato as well, guys. Absolutely nasty. Cannon card doing work in the left lane. Cannon card here for his musketeer. Baby dragon locking on. Mega Man locking on. Cannon card doing work. Rage Cannon card. Look at the cannon tower. Musketeer going down. Cannon card locking on to the tower, guys. Look at the damage go down. Oh, baby. It's good. There we go. Oh, the tower is dead. Good game, Captain Obvious.
Wow, that was nasty, guys. So, as you can see, with this deck, if you get some pumps down early, even if you take early damage, uh, it is so hard to stop. Absolutely insanely hard to stop. Uh, obviously, the second battle against the RG there, I made several really bad misplays. The first misplay was going all in on a Golem push into Infernal Tower uh, when, when we didn't have Zaspel. What I should have done there was just kind of like let the push die and go back to another pump and get some more pumps down. The second misplay I made was uh, just ignoring too much damage on our tower with the RG. Um, so if you don't make misplays, guys, wow, this deck is a beast. All right, let's go ahead here, jump into one more ladder battle. Keep it going, keep it going, keep the W's flowing. So, Mr. Cozy, Kazy, Cozy. So, no pump starting hand. That is one of the biggest downsides to using any pump deck. Like, literally any pump deck in the game. It's even worse, though, when your deck is as expensive as this one. Baby D, Annie, Valkyrie. I wonder what it could be. We shall wait and see. Oh. Y'all like that? Now it's back. Giant's dead. So is the Valkyrie. And so is his. Baby D. Nice. Can card here? Ooh. Cannon card versus cannon card. Who's wins? Ah. Uh, honestly, I didn't really like wasting Elixir there for the cannon card, but it was our cheapest answer. And he got a giant ball in our baby dragon's face. <laughs> These new emos are ridiculous, guys. This emo right here, the screaming hog rider. Let me tell you, it's fun at first, but it can get a little bit annoying, like quickly, if you're in like a two v two battle and everyone's spamming it. Don't go giant in front of that, dude. Dude. Doody, doody, doody. Why you do me like that? All right. Nice miner, though. All right. Where are you going, Val? Lumberjack, go back to the miner, you nub. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. These nubby cards. Why are they so nubby? I said, uh, what? Oh, why? All right, he's got a, that coming down. Nice. Uh, let's just go zap right here. Get one more pump down in the corner here. Like this. Nice, he's gonna go, he's gonna go that way with the baby dragon. Alrighty. This here, baby dragon here. We got nothing in our deck to kind of kill that miner, though. That's the only downside. Nice. Go up front here. Candy cart, you're too fast. You know, you're too fast. All right. Candy cart back here to support our push. He's gonna giant ball here soon, or fireball. One of the two. Oh, the golden Medusa work guys. Baby dragon dying. Lumberjack going down. The tower should easily be dead here, easily. Nice. Now, which lane do we want to defend here? Which lane is he going to push? Let's go pump right here for whatever giant. And minor this, uh, minor, minor this minor away, guys. We are minoring the minor away. Good game, dude. Wow. So, his misplay there was splitting his damage way too much. Not really too sure why he went um, opposite lane there. Maybe it was a misplay. Maybe he meant to use the baby dragon opposite lane. Um, but he went the other one. Regardless, though, we got a free win there. Nice. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead here, guys. Hop into a replay versus a hog cycle deck, as you can see over here. I believe he's using 2.6 hog, although I could be wrong on that. So, anyways, we get pumps today. I'm gonna go pump right here in the middle of our base. As I mentioned before, guys, this deck is so RNG based. Even the deck, like the deck he's using, is RNG based as well, because um, I'm sure he would have preferred going hog rider there instead of fireball. Uh, but it's not like we have a musketeer deck. Uh, if you're facing a few musketeer deck and they pump. You don't really want to fireball it, but of course we got golem, so it doesn't really matter. So, gonna go ahead here with, I believe, a mega minion into his ice golem. I don't want to use the golem yet. I want to get another pump down before that. That was my misplay that I made uh, against the RG deck as going golem too early. So, you kind of want to focus on getting pumps down as best you can earlier on. So, cannon doing work to the uh, golem here. Cannon card to going down for his uh, musketeer, I believe. Yes. Locking on, doing some work. Ice one going down. He's doing a great job here distracting our support units with another Musketeer as well for the cannon cart. 
Log going down, guys. Tiny into the tower. Getting a bit of damage done. Locking gun. One shot. Two shots. Three shots. Four. And not quite five. But in four shots, bring it all the way down to 2,400 health. One of my favorite things about the cannon cart is the fact that it actually one shots an ice spirit. I feel like a lot of people kind of don't expect that and they use the ice spirit to distract it, kind of like you would do a musketeer. But the cannon cart tears through it and destroys it in one shot. Uh, so right here, going to go ahead and use a pump in the bottom right-hand corner. Now that I know he's not rocking a uh, minor deck, I want to use the pump in the bottom right corner versus the middle. That way his fireball damage doesn't add up over time. So, Fireball going down here for the pump. He knows we're not using the Musketeer deck, so he can freely fireball our pumps as much as he wants to. I'm going to go Golem the here left-hand lane just because we are within 9 seconds of the double Electric period. So now is the time for the Golems. I'm going to go ahead and actually just sit here on my Electric for a little bit. Use the Cannon Cart a bit late. The reason I do that is because obviously the Cannon Cart is a very fast-moving card. If I used it too early, it would have killed the Hog Rider, yes. It would have prevented damage, yes. But it would have went too fast and ended up going in front of the Golem, which I didn't want happening. So right there, far up on a log. Unfortunately, knocking back our Cannon Cart. But the Cannon Cart still managed to get value by killing the Musketeer. Uh, Lumberjack getting there, Golem getting there, Mega Minion doing some work. Rage everything up, guys. Tower goes down one crown lead here so far. But our opponent is using a fast cycle deck. So... With 20 seconds left in the game, guys, we aren't actually able to defend our tower, which is what I'm desperately trying to do right here. We got a Cannon Cart down, Baby Dragon down. Our opponent is cycling super fast here to some more spells. I recognize that he's going to be able to get back to a Fireball and a Log in time. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Pump in the bottom right-hand corner, take advantage of this opportunity where I know he's forced to use a Fireball on that tower and get a free Pump down. Now, Golem going up the right-hand side, going to get a Cannon Cart, I believe, here to kill his stuff with a NATO and a Zap for his, uh, the rest of his things. The Zap actually forces the Musketeer to check out my Golem, which is perfect for us, because it gives the Lumberjack time to take care of the Hog Rider. And as a result, guys, we have a Golem full health, Baby Dragon, and a Cannon Card. He has no Elixir left to defend. And watch this tower go down, guys. Cannon Card locks on. Baby Dragon does work. He tries desperately to race for the three crown, but he's got no chance. Nato going down, and we have ourselves a two crown victory. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead here, guys. Finish the video off with a grand challenge battle. See how we can do in the challenge meta with this deck. Uh, it currently is the second most popular grand challenge deck right now, as of today, like for this day only. So, obviously, pretty a pretty good strategy. At least that's what Royale API says. Whether you can trust them or not, we don't know, but. So he's rocking the Hunter uh, Royal Hog Cycle deck, I do believe. I believe he's rocking that one. I could be wrong, but I believe it's the Hunter Cycle deck. The deck that he's using is the most popular one right now for today. So, should be a pretty interesting battle here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Royal Hogs the right lane or what? You gonna go Royal Hogs? You do. Get this down here. Nice. Cannon card here. World Hog's going down. They're taking some damage though. Maybe Dragon doing some work. He's gonna nail the golem to his king tower here, maybe. Actually, no nail. Cannon card locking on, doing some work. Make a minion here for his cannon cart. Nice. Go, go and get the damage done, please. Go and get the damage done. Yes, baby. His tower should be dead here to the golem death. With the baby dragon get some damage done to his tower as well. I kinda wanna go pump here, but we shall chill for a quick hot minute and see what we can do with this. I kind of want to go Lumberjack Nato for his uh, Royal Hogs here. Can we get our Nato down? Nato on back? Nice. Hoggy die? There we go. So I have a, a feeling, guys, this will be a three crown race. His deck is absolutely insane, but obviously, uh, he doesn't have a uh, much arity in his deck, so it's a bit risky if you do face Lava Loon. Going back here. Baby Dragon for this. We're for sure going to lose both of our towers here, but the question is... Can we... Free Crown him? That's what it's all about right now, dudes. Cannon card here. Lumberjack as well. Mega over here. Nice. 
Do our cannon cart. Get in there, Lemonjack. One more golden right here, guys. We're gonna go for the three for sure. Nice. You know that tower go for the three, please. You know that tower go for the three. Cannon cart here. Actually, let's nail these guys back. We're gonna take some damage here. Got this? Cannon cart here, please. Do work, baby dragon, please. Let me try to work. Make it here. Oh, we three crown him, guys. Good game. Well played, dude. That was super close. His cannon cart was almost gonna make it happen, but we managed to squeeze out the quick three crown victory. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time. If you want a chance to go in and copy it, Golem Cannon Cart Beatdown. Absolutely beast right now. Uh, as you saw that last battle there, the uh, Royal Hog Hunter Cycle Deck is also very popular. But guys, anyways, that's the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to Super Clash Real Content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.